All right. Hi, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, just a quick heads up, everyone. If you were primarily here this evening for the zoning item, that was unfortunately canceled at the last minute. Um, the presenters had a family emergency and they will be coming to us next month on uh, during the July meeting. So um, if you were here for that specifically, that'll happen next month. But we still hope that you'll stay for the rest of this meeting this evening, which will probably be on the shorter side because summer meetings typically are. So we will go ahead and get started. Um, just a reminder to please keep yourself muted unless you're presenting or asking a question just so we can avoid any feedback. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and turn the floor over to our treasurer, Dan, to give you our monthly treasurer's report. Okay, thank you, Jess. All right, let me just share my screen. That, come on. Okay, can, oh, yeah. Um, okay, can you see this okay? Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, so here's the balance sheet for last, last month, so ending uh, 31st. Um, overall, no real change, um, just like a difference. I think about, we lost about 300 bucks compared to uh, April's month end. Um, I think the big kind of ticket item for that was the um paying out the uh centennial continental centennial centurion for founders the century? day the century, century, yeah. our, our host for founders day yes yeah i was like who is it yeah so paying them out um so then yeah so overall um last month to this month or last month to year so overall uh for the year we're still positive 800 bucks but this month we lost uh, 346. And again, the big thing was just um, paying out that 500 or almost 600 bucks to Founders Day for the split for the cost of the uh, or the rental that we had for the um, uh, makers booths. So yeah, overall, no real change. And then uh, quite a bit of money, quite a bit of money has been coming in for a festival for the booths for that as well. So um, I think overall, I haven't seen a, I mean, not much came in for uh um, new members, but I have a feeling it's going to start to pick up maybe after the uh, garden festival or garden tour and then the festival as well. So, but yeah, that's about it. Any uh, questions from anybody? All right. Uh, stop sharing. Thank you so much. Okay. Great, folks. We are going to move on here. Let me just get my agenda back up. All right. Um, so like I said, the evening, the variance this evening for 1299 City Park Avenue will be postponed until next month. Um, so we'll have that one up first for our July 3rd meeting. Uh, garden tour updates. So if you have been considering applying as a host for this year's garden tour, and it is our 25th annual tour, so definitely an exciting year to participate. Uh, those applications do close this Sunday, June 9th. So get your applications in uh, before midnight on June 9th. I will actually post a link here in chat um, just in case that's something folks have been considering. Um, we're really excited about this one again, 25th annual definitely a milestone. Um, and we hope that you'll apply if you're interested. We take gardens in all uh, forms, um, whether you're new and you're kind of just getting your garden started or, you know, your garden's in progress, um, or if your garden's been growing for, you know, 25 years and you just want to show it off, whatever the case, as long as you have some garden to show off, um, we'd love to have you featured. So go ahead and complete that application before this Sunday at midnight. Let's see here, uh, moving on, uh, we'll talk about the festival. So festival planning is still well underway. Uh, if you have not seen it, we do have our logo competition um, live. So we have a total of, I believe, nine submissions this year to vote on. Um, whoever takes the winning votes will be featured on the limited run t-shirts and festival mugs for this year. So if you think you'd like to have a t-shirt or mug or both with the logo on it, make sure you do vote. You just need to live or work in Marion Village to vote. Um, you don't have to be a member, but you do have to live or uh, work within the Marion Village boundaries. We just like to make sure that um, folks voting are hopefully the folks who will also be purchasing those items. So um, please get your votes in. You've got until the end of this month to do that. And then of course, we'll announce the winner uh, July 1st. And then shortly after that, we will make t-shirt pre-orders available. 
Uh, also on festival, the vendor applications are still open. We do have some spaces left for vendors. Food trucks are full. Um, we've gotten lots of applications for bands to perform that day. So we will, um, our volunteers are kind of going through those currently to see uh, who we'd like to invite to actually play. And we will have two uh, MCs co-hosting the event this year. So there'll be more about that coming soon, um, but that's exciting and, and that'll be a first for us. So we're really looking forward to that as well. Uh, both our neighbors and residents here of Marion Village. So really excited to, uh, to see what this year looks like. Um, otherwise, on the festival, that's going to be on Sunday, August 25th. So just make sure you mark your calendars. That is not an event you want to miss. And just a reminder that as we approach, um, we will be looking for so many volunteers for the day of the festival. Um, obviously, physical labor is a huge part of that day. But even if you don't necessarily uh, have the ability or interest in doing anything that intense, there are some other things that you can help with as well. So be on the lookout. We will be publishing our uh, sign-up sheet for volunteers probably, oh gosh, um, Zach, does it sound like probably here in the next month, right? Because we'll get that out before. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we'll be sending, we'll be sending that out. Um, just want to have one more uh, touch base with the team and make sure we don't need any sort of new or reduced roles for some things. For instance, like I, I'm thinking bike corral, which we've had in the past did not have before. So we just want to touch base, but we'll have the link. And I know we also started sort of a new volunteer email newsletter, so we'll blast that out as well. We'll have that out. Um, also noting the need for folks, anyone that wants to volunteer for the garden tour. Thank you so much. So looking forward to that. Um, there's lots and lots of ways to help. So if you are interested, we hope that you will do so. And we will have some type of uh, swag available for all of our volunteers as well, just to say thank you for your time that day, because we're all volunteers as well. We know it's a lot of work, but if you've been to the festival before, um, you know, it's definitely our biggest event and it is beloved by the community. So excited to be able to bring it back for its 10th annual year. A lot of milestones this year for us. All right, um, we'll touch here on committee updates. So nothing for beautification at this time. A reminder, if you are interested in beautification projects and you'd like to spearhead something, let us know. We're happy to support you in that capacity. Um, but at this time, beautification is inactive until there are some volunteers who are interested in uh, taking that on. Nothing new from a membership perspective, except that you should have all gotten an email if you are a current member asking you to update your information in our new membership software. Uh, lots of you have already done that. Thank you so much. Um, in the new software, you'll have the ability to indicate whether or not you'd like your membership renewals on an annual basis to be manual or uh, automatic. I personally chose automatic, was very excited about that feature, uh, but that is your choice, so you'll be able to set that up. We did send out an email uh, about a month ago and a guide explaining exactly what you need to do to update your information. Super easy, um, and you can also access the current member directory on our website so that you can verify if you're a member um, if you're not quite sure. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions about the software, just reach out to us. It's new to everyone, so happy to answer any questions we can. Um, and if we see any questions popping up a lot, we'll be sure to, you know, make guides where those are appropriate, put those out so folks have um, easy access to what they need to know for the new software. You can also flag in your profile areas where you might be interested in volunteering. So if you are interested in planning the festival or yard sales uh, or beautification, whatever it might be, you can flag that in your profile. And then when we send out membership email blasts, we'll know to include you on those. Mike, do you have anything on social? Uh, not this month, but I think next month we will try to do another happy hour. I uh, feel like July would be a good time. So if anyone has any ideas of a place or maybe a different activity to do, feel free to shoot them my way um, or to any of the board members. I'm married to one, so I'm sure I'll hear about it. Um, but yeah, I think we'll have July and then maybe we'll use that as a uh, way to try to force some people to volunteer for the festival. Maybe bribe them with Sounds beer great. or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'll talk about that in the next meeting then. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mike, is, is Lauren with you tonight? Yeah, she is. Okay. Just checking for the for the minutes. Gotta take those, take that. David taking his attendance dutifully. All right. I need proof of life. <laughs> I won't do that to her. So next up, we're gonna 
uh, go over to Tate for a moment. Tate wants to give us some zoning updates um, on the zoning changes that are happening with the city. Tate, I think you had some screen shares. The floor is yours. Thanks, Jess. Um, as, as Jess mentioned, we, we did have a um, zoning table for the next meeting. Uh, currently on DACA, we'll have two for next month. Uh, I've been um, going and also just reading a lot about the zoning updates with the city. Um, yesterday, I had the opportunity to go to the zone-in gallery that the city is hosting. Are you able to see my screen, everyone? Perfect. Yep. So this is the uh, website, and I can put this in the uh, chat as well after I'm done sharing. And so this is the zone-in website that the city has, and it has a, a lot of great um, resources and uh, frequently asked questions and things that if you have any interest in zoning, is, this is your place to go. And I will also say that um, public comment ends uh, on the 10th, which is Monday. And so the zoning gallery is open every day. They have a schedule here. Uh, I think it's over here on the gallery. Yeah, so these are the last days to go to the zoning gallery. It's downtown on, on uh, Front Street. It is a wonderful um, event. They have, they'll have walk you through it so you can just go whenever um, whatever time fits you. You, you, they do have options for you to sign up and to check in, and then they'll walk you through the process. And so they'll show you the reason why they're doing these zoning changes. They'll say, they'll show you um, different examples of the maps and things of that nature. So if, again, if you have any interest um, in zoning, I, I highly, highly recommend that you go to the zoning gallery. Again, you have until the 10th to do so. so speaking of public comment, again, the 10th is the last day to give public comment. There's a couple ways to do so. So if you go again to the site and go to code and map proposal and scroll down here, you can either um, complete the feedback form that they have down here, or you can comment on the map. And this is what I really wanna show. So the map here is a map of Columbus. And if we go to Marion Village, So this is what uh, we're focused on right now, which is the corridors here. So the ones that are highlighted and then the next phase is going to be um, going into the neighborhoods. Okay, so the corridors is what's being focused right now. So if you can see, if I kind of zoom out here, these are all the highlighted areas that are the corridors that the, the city's focusing on. So if you go, let's see, um, we'll just pick on just a little area here. There you go. So Hanford, this is where I am. So we can just pick on one of the highlighted areas and, and then the zoning, a brief option of what the zoning code is going to change to is, is a brief summary here. And then you can make your comments on the left side here, whether you support or not support, make your little comment and then, um, Hit next and then confirm, and then you can do this for any other any area that you want. So you can scroll down if you if you like this section but don't like another section. You can you can um, make your comments for uh, per each section, which is I think is really nice, really great. You can spend hours having fun um, doing this here, um, and then again the, the next stage will the next phase rather will be into the the actual neighborhoods itself. Council plans to vote on the corridor section on in July, so um, you can you can again please make sure your feedback is known uh, by the tenth. And then one more thing, they do have a meeting coming up on the south side tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow um, it is from five thirty to seven. It's at the Scioto Southam Community Center um, on Parsons. And so if, if you'd like to go there, there'll be council members there and you can certainly have written testimony. I think that's due by 3 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, or you can have in-person testimony as well during the meeting. I know that's a lot. I think that's all I really wanted to share. If anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to uh, to ask. Thanks, Jess. Thank you so much, Tate. That was fantastic. Does anybody have any immediate questions for Tate about that? Okay, if anything comes up, let us know. You can email Tate directly at zoning at marionvillage.org or you can reach out to the board members and we'll get it over to him. But really appreciate that, Tate, having that summary is so helpful.
Okay, move on here. Uh, next area, unfortunately, we do not have any area, um, or I'm sorry, rather updates from the Southside Area Commission, um, since we do not have any commissioners attending the meeting currently, but if we get anything, we will certainly pass this along to everyone. Just a reminder about some upcoming events. So Fitness in the Park has started. That's going to run uh, through September 28th. That is every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. in Moeller Park. Um, we do have a rain location for many of the dates. Once we get closer to the festival, um, we don't have one set currently. But right now, if there is rain during uh, yoga, we do move uh, yoga to the Info Center, the Marion Village Info Center on South 4th Street. So there is a backup plan um, if needed. We've also got the Southside Area Commission. Their next meeting is coming up on Tuesday, June 25th. It starts at 6.30 p.m. at the Barrick Recreation Center. Uh, let's see here. Uh, our next meeting is, of course, Wednesday, July 3rd. Yes, that is Red, White, and Boom, I believe. So if you are attending, we do hope you're safe that evening and have a great time. Otherwise, we will be here ready to share a couple of zoning items with you and any other updates we have. Our garden tour is, of course, on Sunday, July 14th. Again, this is our 25th annual tour that starts at 10 a.m. and runs through 3 p.m. Uh, we'll have a variety of gardens throughout the neighborhood, um, as well as probably a couple of non-garden stops. We'll have the info center open so you can pop in, say hello, cool off, grab a bottle of water, um, and we'll also have a plant exchange. So stay tuned for some more information about that. But if you've got plants that you'd like to share with others and come pick up some new plants, we'll have that available at the info center as part of the garden tour. Uh, last but not least on events, we have, of course, the 10th Annual Festival, which will be on Sunday, August 25th from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Again, that's at Moeller Park. Um, vendor spaces are still available. Otherwise, uh, plenty of room for everybody to come and enjoy the day with us with your neighbors, kids, pets, mostly dogs, I would think. Um, there'll be some blankets, an area to put down blankets in front in the grass to listen to music and eat from all the food trucks after you've had a day full of shopping. So lots of great stuff to look forward to at the festival. Uh, just a reminder, if you need an event space for a small event, typically 25 to 30 people or less, um, the Marion Village Info Center is available for reservations. If you are a member, you can reserve the space for free. And if you are not a member, it is $15 per hour. Um, you can see if the space is available on our website and also make your reservation there. Um, we've had all kinds of reservations this year. Um, lots of different things, folks having meetings, birthday parties, baby showers. Um, so lots of different opportunities um, to use the space. Um, even some game nights have been held there. So really cool stuff. And if you're looking for a space here in the neighborhood, uh, that is a great option. Otherwise, I'm going to open the floor. Um, anyone have any questions, comments, anything they'd like to share or discuss before we adjourn for the evening? I know this was a quick one. Zach, I see you have something in chat. Columbus Bike Plus Plan Vision Network is also a public review and comment period. Good opportunity to review while you're reviewing zoning maps. It's a great point. So Zach posted a link into chat. So if you've got some feedback you'd like to share um, on bike planning and vision, um, follow that link and get your comments there as well. Anyone else have anything they'd like to share before we adjourn this evening? Okay. Well, that was a very quick meeting, everyone. I do appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. Um, again, if you have any interest in volunteering in anything we have upcoming, please don't hesitate to let us know. And if you would like to be a host at the Garden Tour this year, uh, make sure you get those applications in by Sunday so that we can potentially give you one of those host positions for the year. Uh, oh, there's one more update. Very quick. Sorry, I almost forgot everyone. Um, our flag sale last year, some of you may be aware, uh, we sold house flags, um, exterior house flags, um, and we are going to be bringing those back this year. We'll be doing a pre-sale kind of through the garden tour and the festival, and then we'll have those coming in in early fall. Uh, we are also going to be offering pre-sale on uh garden flags. So the little garden flags that you actually put directly into your yard, um, a much smaller flag if you just are interested. And we are currently planning to have those available for viewing um, at the garden tour stops this year. So when you go to the garden tour stop, you'll get an opportunity to see what those flags look like. Um, and then you will be able to order them if they look like something you'd like to have in your yard. So stay tuned and look forward to that. Okay. Now, I mean it this time, uh, we will go ahead and wrap up. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. Have a fantastic evening, and uh, we'll see you all next month. Bye, folks.
Thanks, Jess. Thanks, everyone.